hello and welcome to another weekly vlog if you are new to my channel my name is Griselda today is Monday December 12th and today we are gonna go get this forehead frozen and possibly possibly some chin filler I feel like my chin's a little flat so I want a little bit of projection so that's what we're gonna go do today and usually Mondays I don't vlog because Mondays are like my errand days but Today was the only day that they had available at Flawless Laser Center. They're always, always booked, but I love the whole entire team. They're always so sweet and they sometimes just like squeeze me in. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna go do today. And then I'm probably just gonna come home and finish editing my videos. And then that's probably it. I don't have a lot going on today, but we're gonna go get Botox. I am getting ready to pull up to Flawless Laser Center. Let's go. You said Griselda Martinez, correct? Yes. Perfect. Can you just an ID and I'm gonna go ahead and bring you paperwork. So I was thinking of doing my chin and I had them numb it. Okay. I don't know what your thoughts are. Let me take a look. What is it that you want to change about the chin? Are you looking to... You have a good chin. You like, think are so? you looking for projection or length? I don't think length. No, not length. I feel like it looks flat from the side. Does it? Maybe a tiny bit in the spot, but very, very little. I don't want your chin to get too bulky. Um, so mainly from this spot right there. But I would think like even a half syringe you'll be fine. Because okay. when you add, when you have a good chin and you add too much to it, it does get a little, it can get a little masculine. Yeah, no, yeah. no, I don't want masculine. Mm -hmm. I think the last time that I got my like smile lines mm -hmm. was back in like, 2018 really wow. and it's been yeah i mine were deep <laughs> oh yeah but it's been it? yeah yeah, yeah it, it, really it well. still looks really good okay and then we're doing botox too right yes freeze this forehead please <laughs> and then what about eyes do we do eyes too i can't yes and then frown your eyebrows really strong and then raise your eyebrows again And smile. It's a little stronger. If I have some extra, I might put like a drop right there and right there. Not even the whole thing, just right okay. next to the nose. My goal isn't to change your chin, but to kind of get a little bit of projection. Because like I said, you have a good chin, It's a, you have a long chin, so we don't want to give it length. I did feel the pressure, and mm -hmm. I think it's the noise. Have you done chin before? No, I've never done chin oh, before. Oh, okay. You might feel a little bit sore, like in tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I like talk and I feel... Mm -hmm. When you talk, <laughs> yeah, you'll feel soreness there. And there we have it. Frozen, filled up, ready to go. Oh my god, I look like I got attacked. I definitely need to just go straight home. I really like my chin. I just felt like my chin was kind of flat. So I just wanted a little projection. 
and here we are looking like I got attacked by a beehive and it wasn't Beyonce's I'm just gonna go ahead and go home because I cannot be out in these streets looking this crazy <laughs> I decided to come and get some tacos from this spot in downtown. It's called Sonora Town. Ugh, the tacos are so fire and I cannot wait to eat them. My mouth is like watering. Just look at these tacos. I am about to tear these up. I get steak tacos. They're so good. I feel like I live in my car. I'm so excited for these tacos. My mouth is watering. They're so packed. I literally had to run in there and grab these tacos because there was no parking and I parked in the, um, oh my God, my mouth is watering, in the red zone. And then there was a cop that pulled up next to me and I was just, we like made eye contact and I was like, and then he kept going. So then I went inside. Hmm. Oh my god. When I tell you, one of a kind, they're so good and they're always packed. My chin does hurt a little bit now that I'm chewing. I need to go home and ice it. And this salsa. It's so spicy, but it's so good. I ordered four tacos. They're not that big. And their burritos are not that big either. So if you ever go there and you usually eat three, I would recommend to get four. Mm. Every bite is like the first bite. Hello and happy Wednesday. Um, I just finished getting ready because I'm gonna head out to a charity event with Ardell. Um, I'm wearing my 579 lashes. They're so pretty. Do not sleep on those lashes. They're called the Texture Eyes 579 lashes. I'll link them down below. Um, and I also put in my clip-ins from the hair shop. These are the 14 inch clip-ins and I feel like myself um, even though I'm still having a hard time blending them in but I think I might throw on a hat since it is a charity event I don't know if it's gonna be inside or outside I have no idea but um, I still have to stop at Target because I have to get either a toy or two food cans but I'm gonna do both because it is a charity event so all I gotta do is just good dress and then hit the road i'm also waiting for my friend marlene that is gonna come with me she looks so cute because she's pregnant so yeah so i'm gonna head out and i will see you guys in a bit okay this is crooked i think it's there we go okay um you can't really see my outfit let's see here no you can't see my outfit i'm literally just wearing these unlabeled leggings with some sneakers I put a hat on and it says not interested I got this on the Shein website it says not interested I had to get it um, for perfume I'm gonna be using this burning cherry number 48 I get compliments all the time when I wear this you need to get this if you do not have it already um, but yeah this is <laughs> I inhaled the perfume I need to brush my teeth. They have Hungry Hungry Hippo. Can I Candyland? Candyland it is. So what kind of killer do you want to get? Like fruits or what do we have to get? Um, I just, I don't know. They weren't specific about what to get this. Let's pick the healthiest one. Do they want healthy? I mean, I would don't want to give them anything that's unhealthy. <laughs> Marlene. <laughs> Let's do gluten free. There you go. I think it's fine. Help you carry it. It's okay. I got a girl. Girl, okay. you have so much stuff. Give me something, please. Thank you. You know me. I know. You want to carry I want to carry everything. No, you can't. Until my hands are like, can't carry no more. Well, they're like that right now. Uh -huh. I have my phone, my camera, the candy land, and then I was trying to hold the two cans. Ah! I get a little weirder when people stare at me. 
I almost ran into this lady. We have arrived all the way. It is freezing up in here. She said all the way to the back. We gotta go up these stairs. Is there an elevator? Yeah. She said four floor. Ooh. Oh, this elevator. Um, it's giving me. It's giving me very. It's gonna take me to the dungeon. Yeah, that's exactly. It's giving me. Oh my god, look at it. Literally, it looks like. A dungeon? No, like from oh, the, the hostel. The, the hostel? Movie hostel. <laughs> or for some reason. The movie Saw? <laughs> the movie Saw? Yeah. Where are you taking me? I'm gonna take you to the dungeon. Oh lord, it's cold. So you want me to wear that tiny shirt? You're crazy. You look cute, girl. I'm not when you're freezing. <laughs> I mean, you can be shivering and look cute. <laughs> because you're wearing black. <laughs> this is where the lashes were. Nothing is left. But I got some lashes and I might do a giveaway. It's time for me to go pick up my child. Hopefully there's not too much traffic because we're in downtown and this LA traffic is no joke. Don't mind the traffic. We're looking at the sky here. It looks so beautiful. I am a sucker for sunsets. If y'all didn't know, now you know. <laughs> Literally love sunsets. You look cute. Wait, you gotta show me your hat though. Oh, I already hat did. So cute. It says not interested. Because <laughs> I really am not interested <laughs> in the bullshit. Also, this foundation. Hello, we are live. I am back home and I was going through all the things that I got um, at the Ardell event. And I just decided to give it all away because I actually already have most of these products. So I don't wanna just be a hoarder. So I just decided to do a giveaway and the rules are very very simple you have to be subscribed to my channel you have to give this video a thumbs up um, you have to comment what you are grateful for in the comments and i will announce the winner december <laughs> i will announce the winner on december 22nd you'll have till the 22nd to let me know what you're grateful for and follow the rest of the rules and i will announce the winner on my Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you follow me on Instagram as well. And then we'll be in touch from there. This is open only to US. If you're international, I do apologize. I'll definitely open up the giveaway to international very soon. I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be giving away. So we have this lookbook. Um, it comes with one, two, six different style of lashes and then we have these here and then we also have these which i believe are the same thing yeah they're the same um lashes we also have some magnetic lashes and then we have this little cute three-in-one crystal glitz and glam gift set and also actually we have two of those magnetic lashes I think yeah two of them we have five lippies that I'm also gonna include in the giveaway also by Ardell if you didn't know Ardell does have a makeup line um, we have the forever kissable lip stain top and bottom um, precision mascara um, 
so yeah i'm gonna be giving that away i'm about to get ready for salsa um shayla texted me and told me that a few other girls are going we both were like we're not gonna go this week and then harush and um chloe wanted to come so we're like okay let's go i think i'm not gonna stay that long though i feel like i i feel like once i do like one or two hours i think i'm good last week let me tell you i was out of breath i was like dancing i was like <sighs> by the time i was done i don't know how i didn't pass out <laughs> because it was it was rough for me but i'm gonna go get ready and i'm gonna go do my cardio for the week because it is a lot of cardio but i love it i really truly do love salsa dancing okay good night y'all good morning from the glass shop um happy friday it is december 16th it is my mom's birthday and i'm really sad because my mom still isn't feeling well it's been like four weeks i want to say since she tested positive for covid and she took two tests already and i believe both of them came back positive but they do say that after having covid like you can still test positive um and she's still just not feeling well she doesn't have a lot of energy she can't really eat much um like her stomach is just like all over the place so we're not going to be able to do anything for her today um which makes me really sad but hopefully she just feels better within the next couple of weeks but um i'm currently at this glass shop because i was on the freeway and a dump truck hit not hit the dump truck dropped i don't know what it was i don't know if it was like a piece of like cement or rock but it hit my windshield and it cracked it so now i'm here trying to get it fixed so i called my insurance and they said that they might just be able to fix it without having to replace the whole windshield it's not that big it's like a quarter size maybe like a nickel maybe maybe in between like a quarter and like a nickel so i'm just here waiting i pulled up 30 minutes early got my coffee I know I look completely different from what I look like this morning, but I had to quickly come home and film this look for a reel. Um, and I didn't even update you guys with what happened to my car. I had to take a deep breath because I left so upset and I'll tell you why. So when I first got there, I was already kind of skeptical. I was like, I don't know, this place doesn't seem like they know what they're doing but it was recommended by my insurance and i was like okay i'm gonna just let them take care of it plus they said if they just need to fix it i'm not gonna have to pay out of pocket and i said okay fine i said but if it does need to be replaced like i'll pay my deductible and i'd rather do it that way the guy was like no it looks like it doesn't need to be replaced it just can be fixed it can be filled smoothed out and you won't even notice that it's there then I said, okay, perfect. Sat down. First, he told me 45 minutes. I was there for like an hour and a half. And then when when the guy came and got me, he was like, it wasn't even the same guy. It was a different guy. He was like, oh, I want you to, you know, take a look at the car or the windshield. And I want you to let me know if you're happy with it. And I was like, okay, why wouldn't I be happy if it looks like nothing happened? So I walked over there. And from afar, obviously, I can't see. And then he was like, well, you know, as we're getting closer, he's like, you know, it, you can still see it a little bit. Um, the guy that did it, he left already. And when he said that, I was like, okay. So I was looking at it and it just, at first it looked like a fingerprint, like just smudged, but it was like a deep fingerprint. And then... I was like, let me see it from the inside because I can see it more from the inside. So I sat in my car and I took a deep breath and he was just like, before I can even say anything, he was like, yeah, you know, the guy did like expand it too much and he did do a poor job. And I was like, okay, so you're giving me back my car knowing 
that you guys did a poor job so he was like yeah you know unfortunately there's nothing that we can do um and the guy's not here he left whatever <sighs> so i'm like so what are you telling me he was like well if you want to replace it you can you know that is the risk that you run if you just get it fixed and i'm like now i'm thinking you probably did a poor job because you want me to spend an x amount of money to give me a new windshield so that like had my fumes going and i try not to like it's not the, the guy that gave me the car it's not his fault because he didn't fix it but him already knowing that it's a poor job like so i had to call my insurance again and they were like unfortunately you know that's the risk blah 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 so now i have to pay you know my deductible to get a brand new windshield and i'm just irritated but it is what it is to be honest but i filmed this look honestly i'm i'm really trying to distract myself from not being pissed off because i was not gonna let that ruin my day and i didn't i completely forgot about it until i saw my camera and i was like oh i need to like update you guys with what happened to my windshield <sighs> oh, so irritating now that i'm thinking about it i'm like upset all over again <sighs> we're gonna sing happy birthday to my mom um in a little bit because she's still not feeling well and we were gonna take her out to dinner at least but she really can't eat anything i also clipped in my extensions hi mom hi. como te sientes mas o menos no te duele el estomago ya no you lost weight she's still in the house wearing a mask and she walks around with her little lysol bottle <laughs> It's my camera. I'm not on the phone, mom. I'm oh. vlogging. <laughs> my mom's so funny. So now I gotta go and clean up this whole mess that I created in my room. hello and happy sunday i just finished filming this look this is my holiday makeup look i wanted to do something that was festive but not like to the extreme where i did red lip i did do a um an instagram reel that involved a red lip but for youtube i wanted to just do something very simple well not so simple because it's like a icy i don't know if you guys can see it but it's like an icy smoked out wing liner and i wanted to keep it more neutral on the lips um but yeah so i just finished filming this i'm also doing laundry anthony's with his grandparents so i had a little bit of time to just get my life together and do a little bit of work i usually don't work on sundays but i have had like you know a busy last couple of days and um i just wanted to jump on here and close out this vlog by saying that i appreciate every single one of you that, that continues to come back to my channel 
whether it's to watch a tutorial or a vlog i really appreciate you and also to remind you to enter my giveaway i will make sure to list all of the rules down below and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you guys in my next video